Hey guys, Doug here. How's it going? I have another Gift Spice Lemex exclusive for you here today. And again, this is part of the Santa's Wonderland collection, as all of the ones that I have here uh, this year for review are. Today I have for you the Elf Workshop. Uh, I also have some accessories I'm going to incorporate in. Um, it's the uh, Untangling the Lights, Big Bear, and Sledding with Santa. Again, these are also exclusive uh, to Gift Spice this year. So, all right, getting into the Elf Workshop here. Now, this is a very traditional Elf toy shop, right? And uh, this would actually be fantastic with the Michaels exclusive this year, the uh, Lemax Elf Made Toy Factory. I did a review of that on my channel. Um, it's got the extravagant animation and uh, that's gigantic. This would work great um, with that. Getting into the details here, uh, there's the office, kind of the foreman it looks like with the, uh, you know, the list of things that they have to build uh, from the kids and of course it's like comically long. Outside the actual workshop, you know, you see some elves inside that are working on toys and there's also toys, you know, on the outside. Uh, the traditional teddy bear, uh, the wooden rocking horse, a uh, little car, you know, some of the, um, the old-timey stuff that, uh, you know, kids have always wanted. Another cool detail, there's also hammers you can see outside uh, the, uh, the building that are embedded into it and painted. Um, really cool, the motif here of, you know, hammers and saws. And, uh, you know, speaking of the saws, if you look here at the top, that's kind of one of the most pronounced features of this. Uh, the workshop is an actual, you know, an old-style wood saw, you know, for uh, use in making toys. It's also an elf waving up top. Really, really nice fit and finish in this building as well. Uh, this whole Santa's Wonderland collection here uh, from Gift Spice uh, is, is really, really nice this year um, in regards to, uh, you know, the paint and all that. Um, but it looks very much uh, like a snow-covered house or a whimsical workshop. Now, the building is lit. Uh, there's no bulb like to remove or anything. It's like the uh, the reindeer barn that I mentioned uh, yesterday. Uh, it has uh, a, a door underneath you can put three double A's or you can use a power adapter. And uh, that's actually what I'm using here is one of the uh, Lemax three power adapters. You can get those at Michaels or you know online other places. I just figure it's easier to use those versus just one individual adapter. So the first accessory here, this is, uh, you know, the big bear. I think this works great with it because it's an elf hauling a gigantically, you know, oversized teddy bear. And it looks like he's working pretty hard. The next one here is another elf. It's called Untangling the Lights. Actually, I had to do what he was doing uh, a couple days ago when we put up our tree. Last year, I did not ball up the lights. You know, normally I'll ball up the... Uh, the Christmas lights in their own individual strands. Well, I just got in a hurry, threw them all in a box, and so I spent yesterday a good hour and a half detangling Christmas lights, so I feel for this guy. The uh, lights are actually translucent. You know, they're not lit on this piece, but they are translucent uh, little bulbs. Really cool. A uh, last accessory here that we're, you know, going to be adding is the uh, sledding with Santa, and it's Santa hauling the mail down the uh, down a hill, and he's got uh, some elves in tow on one of the old traditional sleds. Um, I actually had one of those metal, you know, rail sleds back in the day. They are insanely fast. They are kind of tough, you know, like I know now most sleds they have those plastic bottom ones, like the toboggan style. You get at Walmart or whatever, but uh, it's really cool because the old style one, you actually, well this one doesn't have it, but um, there's something you kick your feet up on and you can steer it that way. And of course I ran into a tree and destroyed the whole thing and uh, scared my parents half to death. So maybe, um, maybe it's better off if everyone has the plastic ones nowadays. Alright guys, as an overview here you can see I've added these accessories with the accessories from yesterday. And our village is starting to form. Uh, it looks really, really cool so far. And as I add the rest of the stuff in here, um, you're going to see as it comes to life. Final thoughts here on the Elf Workshop. I give it an 8 out of 10. A really, really nice building. Outside of the, uh, you know, the standard lit bulb, the, the LED bulb, you don't have, you know, anything else going on as far as lights. But paint, fit, finish, and style are fantastic. Uh, big, big fan of it. And uh, you could actually use this in, uh, you know, a non-North Pole slash Santa Wonderland display. I think it would fit in nice in a regular town just as kind of an overly decorated building. Or even, uh, you know, a quick pop-up one like a prop or something that uh, sometimes you'll see in town squares or other things like that. It's just a uh, really, really neat building and I'm a big fan of it. So, alright guys, thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with another one of these Gift Spice exclusives.